We are so excited to have you today for our CODA Youth as Voices of Change Summit. It's about raising awareness and starting the conversations. They always talk about drugs and they always talk about mental illness, but they don't ever connect the two. There are people who really, really struggle with this and they feel like they're alone. Many young people will get an injury, they'll get prescribed opioids. When this CODA movement goes internationally, they're going to try to figure out where did it start. I'm with Game Changers. We are the only nonprofit in the entire country that talks about co-occurring disorders. It's a diagnosis of one or more mental health challenges and substance misuse or addiction, drug and or alcohol. You are ground zero for this movement. It was just exciting to see 400 students from 46 high schools in Westchester together in the room to learn about co-occurring disorders. With you all being here, we are going to make history. So and make the commitment to support open dialogue within their schools. We have seven wonderful breakouts, sports, transformation through the arts, mindfulness, creating connections, leading change, and of course, what's important to me in collaboration with the Montefiore Hudson Valley Collaborative. Having a good day is kind of rare in high school because there's just so much stress. Write down things that are important to you. That's steps and strategies on creating small goals. Maybe something that could make it better, like being with my friends and family, playing soccer. Someone may not know that was important to you or that you even thought about that, unless they asked you, right? We said that they should speak about CODA in some of our health classes too. You can demonstrate like how like sports kept you away from the drugs. We wrote out lists of things that like made like a good day good. So we brainstormed how we could use social media to spread this message of CODA. If there was one thing that we could do as teachers to break stigma down. What do you think that could be? Just having teachers like validate and like say, okay, like I understand. We're in the like what's important to me room. Oh, okay. So these are like some of our big priorities. With social media and everything that we do now, adults in general tend to compare like our lives now to their lives when they're growing up. Yeah. And it's totally different. I thought this tool was pretty helpful. It really helped me to prioritize like things in my life that I need to put more focus on. I really wish the youth that I work with would come in to our offices with these pieces of paper. It was courageous of you guys being able to write it down. Good that you have that yep. support. You know, and the other thing that you realize is that not everyone does. Yeah. That's where we come in. That's that's where we, do. Do. Yeah. we learn about mental illness and we learn about like drug abuse and overdose and all that stuff, but people don't realize that putting those things together can make it even more dangerous. Just programs like this and really having like people and like young people like us talk about it's really important. The work that you're doing today is gonna help to save a life. Make CODA a household name and let it be known that right here is where it started.